Christianity and Judaism. What are the similarities and differences? Both believe in an all-powerful God. Both hold to the Hebrew scriptures as being divinely inspired. Judaism calls it the Tanakh. Christians call it the Old Testament. Both have a deep love for the Hebrew scriptures and both seek to live a godly life. But what divides them is the person of Jesus. For Judaism, he is a false prophet, a deceiver and blasphemer, rightly executed for his own sins. But for the Jewish people who encountered him after he rose from the dead, he is the eternal son of God. He was embraced by the nations around the Mediterranean and to the ends of the earth. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ziggy. I am Jewish and I believe Jesus is God's son, the long promised Messiah and saviour of the world. As I began to discover Jesus, I soon came to see that Judaism isn't the Judaism we find in the Torah. It had undergone change. And after the temple in Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD, Jewish life as they had always known it stopped. And without a, a temple, an altar and animal sacrifices, the rabbis redefined Judaism without the need for them and awaited the day that the long awaited Messiah would come and rebuild the temple and recommence true Torah observant life. But it was never as simple as that. The long promised Messiah was always veiled in mystery, hidden in the shadows. And what no one expected is that he would suffer and die for our sins and at the end of the age return to reign forever. Of all of the spiritual worldviews, Christianity and Judaism are the closest. And while Judaism is still awaiting the Messiah to restore Jewish life centred on the temple, Christianity sees Jesus as God's king who offers forgiveness to all who call upon him. And while Judaism strives to bring Jewish people to orthodoxy, Christians seek to share with both Jewish people and Gentiles knowledge of the Saviour, the love of God, and the forgiveness of sins. And while Judaism looks back to the Passover and the rescue of the Israelites from slavery to Pharaoh and the giving of the law at Mount Sinai, those who believe in Jesus look back to how he fulfilled the Passover, dying as a sacrificial lamb to rescue mankind from slavery to sin, and then look forward to his return and coming kingdom. Thanks for listening.